Hey everyone, this is Mike here with Notion Forms again. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a Notion form that will redirect to any website you want once the form is submitted. And to do this, we're going to use the example of a user survey. So as you can see here, I already have the database set up in Notion. Uh, if there are any steps in this video that you're not already familiar with, we do have other tutorial videos that show uh, instructions for all of these steps and introduction to Notion forms and how to integrate it. So feel free to check those out if you need to. Um, but like I said, we have this database set up here. So you can see we have properties, uh, pretty straightforward ones, like the name. We have a drop down menu for are you using Notion forms for business or personal reasons? How are you using it? Just an open text. And then a couple more uh, properties here. Anything you would like to recommend as text and an email if you want to provide it. So the idea with this uh, Notion form is to just collect survey data from users. So let's go to the Notion forms and we're going to go to create a new form. Like I said, if you need a refresher on how to actually go through these steps, feel free to check out our other videos. And you can see here user survey template already shows up. So we'll click continue. And as you can see, those properties that I just outlined are here, uh, but this looks a little bit clunky as is. So we're going to do a little bit of editing here. Um, so I would like to, first of all, just rearrange the properties. So we'll drag and drop this up. So this is the order I want them in, but it still looks a little busy on this page. So I'm actually going to use Notion Forms page break feature here. And we're going to add in some separators. So we have some of these submission blocks on different pages. So I'm going to add in another page break here. And you just drag and drop the page break to wherever you want the separators to be. So we have the name, a break. How are you using Notion Forms? Are you using it for personal or business? And then I'll do one more page break here to separate the last couple of properties. There we go. Okay, so now you can see that we have the name here. We have these two properties, we have this, and then we have the final one before submitting it. So we have these properties broken up over different pages here. Now, to do the custom redirect, what we need to do is um, go down here. Let me just move this out of the way here. And about submission. So these are the, the settings for submitting. So you can customize the button, but what we're gonna do is customize the action. So instead of show a success page, something like, you know, thank you for submitting your Notion form, we're actually going to redirect to a URL. And the URL for us in this case will be Notion Forms, just our home page there. And then we're just going to add a little bit more customization here, like a cover picture. There we go. And a logo, just to make it look very nice. There we go. So as you can see, we have a very beautiful looking form here and that looks good. So I'm going to click create form and the form is created. So now we're going to open the form and show you what it looks like here. So we'll just put in my name next. I'm using this for both personal and business. How am I using it? Everything. Nothing. Nothing, the product is perfect. I'm not biased or anything. And then you can provide the email address if you want to. I won't right now, but then I click submit and you see it takes us right to the Notion Forms homepage. So that is how you can use Notion Forms to redirect to your own website after somebody submits a survey. 
Uh, and just so you know, this user survey template here, as you can see, my submission just came into it, but this Notion database is going to be avail available for free to download. So please check out the link. And all you need to do is go up here in the corner and click duplicate, and you can copy this form verbatim and use it to create your own Notion form user survey. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.